Hi, how you doing? Okay, this video is about tarot cards, about reading a tarot deck. So, I used to, like, I got the Rider Waite deck like everyone else, and, and it's, it's a great deck. I started collecting other decks, and I had nine different decks of cards. And whenever I would do a reading, I would, when I would get a card, I'd go, oh, crap. What's the, what's the, what's the card like from, what's, why did it snap out of focus? What's that card from that other deck for this card? I like it better. I want to look at it to get meaning out of it. You know, and then I'd go, I'd go get that card from another deck and look at it. Then I realized, you know what? Why don't you just make your own deck? So, so this is my deck. As you can see, I, my favorite, the reason I'm showing you this is because my favorite deck in the whole world is the Herbal Tarot deck. It's based on the Rider Waite. It basically is the Rider Waite, but each one has a corresponding herb. See, like this is the Magician card. The, the Magician card looks just like this, except without this, this herb right here. And that herb is uh, Astralagus. So the Astralagus, the meaning of Astralagus is the same as the meaning of the Magician card. So it has a, it adds a chorus, but on top of all the other correspondences, it adds an herbal correspondence to everything, to each card. It's so cool. And some of the, there's a handful of the cards are actually different. The Wheel of Fortune card is called the Medicine Wheel instead, which I think is really cool. It's just, uh, this is my favorite deck. I love it. But it doesn't always, see like right here, this is the deck and, and, the card on top is, uh, uh, the card on top here, as you can see, is the, hello, there, the Emperor card. This is from the Crow's Magic deck. The Crow's Magic deck has its moment. That's a, corresponding an owl to the Emperor is like so cool to me. You know, I like this card. This is my favorite card for the Emperor. You know, let's see what else we got here. See, this is from the Herbal Tarot deck. Most of them are going to be from that. The Suspended Person, and it's corresponding Kelp to it. Not cool? Let's just try another one. Oh, that's Herbal Tarot. That is a really cool one, though. See, that's uh, the Five of Wands, and it, it corresponds Turmeric to it. See how the roots are coming up, or the turmeric roots are showing right there? Because part of the meaning of this card is to uproot the problem, to unify. See how each hand has a different color and stuff? To come together, unity and diversity, to uproot the problem, you know, and, and find the solution. See, as you can see, herbal tarot, herbal tarot. There's another crow's magic one. Come on. <laughs> there we go. There's another one. The Lord of the Rings tarot, the Four of Wands from the Lord of the Rings. You know, then you can get corresponds part of the Lord of the Rings story to it. So that has its moments. Look, there's an actual Rider Waite one. I would have used this one because the Herbal Tarot one for the Five of Pentacles is different than the Rider Waite one. And it isn't really as effective. I'm like, oh, well, they took too much liberties there. I'm going to go with with uh with the rider weight one if i want to find the corresponding herb i just get this and i can look it up in the book that comes with the the deck and see what i mean look at that that's a beauty um another lord of the rings one another crow's magic one those are my favorite obviously lord of the rings rider weight herbal tarot and Crow's Magic. There's another Crow's Magic Tarot deck. It's just a really cool deck. And then, then, like I can't even find anything else. There's the Medicine Wheel like I was telling you about. Yeah, see, it's mostly, it's because some of the decks, like the the Thoth deck, some of the co coolest cards are in the Thoth deck, but my, I got the jumbo size of the Thoth deck, so they don't fit in here. And then, like I, the Elemental Tarot, the Elemental Tarot deck is really cool too, but it's, the cards aren't the same size, so I picked my favorite of the ones that, that, that have the same size of cards. 
So, so it looks as you can see, they're almost all from from Herbal Tarot, Rider Waite, Lord of the Rings, and the Crow's Magic deck. So, with tarot cards, you're you're encouraged to to collect different. Like some people say, shouldn't someone give you the deck, and you shouldn't buy your own tarot card deck? That's not true. Oh, this keto coffee is so good. That's not true. You can buy your own deck, but if somebody buys you a deck because they think they would like it, it has that magic property of, of you know, that comes with someone else buying it for you because they think you would like it for whatever reason, you know, maybe you know the reason. It just adds something magically special to it, you know, as you can, just like anything else, you know, gifts are special. But if you wait around for someone to buy you a bunch of cards, because there's an advantage to learning many decks, you know, then it's going to, you'll never, I mean, it's never going to happen unless like every one of your friends are witches and like, it's just not real likely. You're probably, if you're going to get to know many decks, you're probably going to have to go buy your own decks. This right here, this tarp I use, this is from the, the Celtic Book of the Dead, which is a, a deck of cards. And it's, it's the, the cloth for that. The, the Celtic shaman traditionally has a special cloth for these type of moments. And so it gives you one that's a special one. And I use it for, for, for things like this, okay? I'll do another um, reading that does this one. This is, this is a really special card spread too. But right now I'm gonna do the, the Tree of Life spread. Okay, I'm gonna shuffle the, the deck up. If you notice in decks, it tells you what the card would mean if it's upside down. But then, if as careful as I am and as much as I love my cards, you know what, that never happens. Why would a card be, ever be upside down unless you're like really like throwing them around and you know, just like it never happens, you know? So, so that's just, so like the reverse meaning if it's upside down, I look at those and I learn from them. It can kind of help you understand what the card means in a little bit better detail, you know? Give you something more interesting to look at. It helps you, hello, man, this is, oh, there we go. It helps you um, get extra meaning out of it. I can't remember what I was talking about. So let's do this, this uh, spread. Okay, I'm gonna uh, put this on pause and I'm gonna shuffle this up. Okay, I was shuffling it up and I kind of, some things came to mind, which is also part of it. So when you're shuffling it up, you have a question in mind. And uh, if you're reading someone else's card, you don't have them, they don't tell you what the, the question is until right before you do the last card. But when you're doing yourself, obviously you know the question. And since right now I'm just doing myself, I know the question. The question is, what type of characteristics should I look for in a friend? It's like, I don't have enough friends right now, you know, I'm not, I'm not lonely, but I'm alone and blah, blah, blah. I've talked about it in other videos. It's not a big deal, but I thought that'd be a fun one because that's kind of what, that's kind of a thing, you know? Characteristics in a, in a good friend for me personally, because it might be different for other people. So when you shuffle it, you have your question and while you're sh there's no right, like how many times do you shuffle it? Well, you know, you, you might only shuffle it twice. You might only shuffle it th sh three times. It's just, you just, you know, you don't do it a certain amount of times. You just think about what's going on and you just kind of do it till you think it's time to do it, you know? And maybe if you have a lot on your mind, you're shuffling it longer because you're trying to think about it. But as you're shuffling it, you're putting that, that energy into these cards, your thoughts. Of, of, you know, that are, that's good. Keep your mind on what, what the question is and it, that energy will go into the cards. So originally I was taught to do a magic circle and I don't think that's a bad idea, but uh, what happened was I, I forgot to do a magic circle a couple times and I still had, an, and I had sat, sat there with like a, spending all this time on this magnificent spread. Anyway, basically a short, long story short, I ended up learning with experience that 
that it doesn't really matter, you know. And I wa I've watched other tarot card readers, and nobody does a magic circle, and and it, it just like I don't think any I don't know if anybody does that, you know. I read a lot of books by Aleister Crowley, and he's he's huge into magic circles for like anything. Okay, so but I but I do read uh, I do uh, s recite a prayer. I say. So this this prayer is um it's um it's uh, I mentioned the name that I've uh, that I've put on this this card of deck this deck of cards and um, I mentioned the the great angel that set over the operations of this which is an Egyptian because the tarot cards originally come from Egypt okay I invoke thee Yahweh El Roi that thou wilt send Heru the great angel that is set over the operations of the secret wisdom to lay his hands invisibly upon these cards of art that have been consecrated in thy name, Yahweh El Roi, that thereby I may obtain true knowledge of hidden things to the glory of thine ineffable name. Amen. Okay, now I can do, I can shuffle it like I was saying. Okay, it is shuffled. I'm going to have to work hard to make this fast, because I'm already 11 minutes into this video. I'll try to make this fast. It's kind of complicated, but okay. Tarot of the Sephirot. The Sephirot, for those of you that don't know, is the, um, it's what the Kabbalah is all about. In the Kabbalah, you take the numbers 1 through 10, and they, they form the, the Sephirot. It starts at the top 1, 2, 3, that's across the abyss, then 4, 5, 6, 7, eight, nine, and ten. So number one is the idea, number ten is manifested form. And then you correspond what all the things mean in the uh, one through ten. Each one and each pathway has a corresponding uh, Atu card, um, the major arcana, and then each each sephira, which means sphere in, in Hebrew, is uh, has a chorus, you know, has four corresponding um, minor arcana cards. Okay, so so the Kabbalah is all about the Sephirot, which is that, and the Tarot deck, which is all corresponds to the Sephirot. So you don't have to learn the Kabbalah using Tarot cards, but it's the hard way, because like, like here we have the Universe card. The Universe card is one of the pathways that connects two of the Sephirot. So you can, you can read all the dry information and take out the meaning of what that means, or you can look at a picture on the card and it, it, it animates it, because it is the same exact same thing, okay? It all comes from Egypt. Okay, so now I'm gonna lay the cards out like that. I'm gonna push pause because I can't do the balancing act at the same time. Okay, you start, you divide the card in thirds. You put this one up in the Keter position, and then you skip dot, and you go to um, Tiferet and then Yesod. Okay, and then, and then you go. Okay, then from the Keter pile, I put over here into Kokma and over here to Bina. Let's try to see if I can fit this on this table like that. Because that's how it goes. It goes one, two, three, and then um, four is over here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to scoot these down a little bit. Okay. Now I'm gonna, oh, I guess I can do this. Four, and see, look, I took a very small amount. It's okay. Four, five, so there you have the archetypes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, yes, old, and 10. I ended up grabbing just one card for 10. That's okay. I'll put this a little bit off to the side, obviously, so it doesn't fall down. 10 and 11. The 11th Sephiroth is Dot, which is the shadow side of all the different cards. So there's actually 11 Sephira. This one is the shadow of all the cards, so it's it's not counted because it belongs really to every, It's the shadow of the whole tree. See how it looks like a tree? This is actually belongs like that. See, so that's called the tree of life, or the sephirot, which is plural for sephira. Okay, so now, 
So now, like I said, one is the idea, 10 is manifested form. So, so we start up here at, at, uh, at Keter at number one, and that's like the, the idea, kind of like the light bulb above the, it's the purified, it's the idea of, of, uh, of this, okay? So like the idea is, here we have the 10 of pentacles. Okay, so the Ten of Pentacles, notice there's like a, like this is, the, the person answering the door like lives there and they're, they're answering the door or not, there's not a door, but they're, you know, a visitor is coming and they're letting him in and look, he's got like his dad or something that, that lives there with him and, and he's got Ten Pentacles. So it's the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Earth. So this, this card means like material prosperity and wealth because obviously you have 10 coins. 10 is the biggest number. So you have it's a full set of coins. Look, that's why your dad's living there with you or whoever the old man is, your father-in-law or whatever. And you know, you uh, who knows uh, what type of treasure or what type of adventure or whatever this, this uh, woman that's, that's you're about to let in your house is going to have. Um, it can also kind of mean like shallowness and things like that. Cause like in a way, none of these things matter, do they? You know, but look, you've got two dogs and the dogs are already friends with, with, uh, with the grandpa guy and everything. Notice that the, the woman has a little, a little kid. See that little kid that, that's kind of like protective and has probably never been there before. It looks like, you know, Okay. Oh wait, one, one thing I like to do to, to get some meaning out of it is I like to remember that in the Thoth deck it has a, a word that corresponds to each one and they, they could be, like this one is gain, G-A-I-N. Okay, now I'm gonna do number two, Kokma. And here we have the strength card, ooh cool. That's one of my favorite ones. I have the corresponding Hebrew letter for this tattooed on me. It's like super cool. Okay, notice the woman's pulling open the, the mouth of a lion and she's got the sign for infinity on, on, her, on her crown there. So strength, is, so it's the strength card. It means pretty much strength. Okay, so this, this, is, this card, the words for this is your truth. And it, it means like strength and courage, um, like um, you know, a person who's like a mover and a shaker. So you know, someone that can make things happen um, out of a, out of like a, this strength and courage. Number three. So I'm trying to make this fast because I don't want to, this, it's gonna be long. I don't know if I could do it too fast. <laughs> I'll try. The Emperor, we already did that. It has the owl. It says Overlord, Supremacy. This one's so cool. Okay, this one, it means like, like your masculine drives as opposed to your feminine drives. There's an Emperor and an Empress card. So it means like, um, like uh, the power to like organize and, and it means like protection, right? Like the, you know, it's kind of like, think about the, the, the iconic dad and what the, what they add to the family, you know, the protection, the provider, the, the dominion, you know, so it means that, but it, but it really means like, like in you, you, the, you know, your, your masculine drives. Okay. Now this one, this one is the last one you do. Number 11. So now we will go to number four, Kesed. And we get the the nine of wands. So look at the nine of wands. He's taken, look, see how he has a bandage on his head? He's taken quite a beating. See, that's why these cards are cool, the picture. It, it adds, it, they're so easy to interpret. He's got, so he's got nine wands. And see how he's looking back at him? Because he's, you know, because he, he's had to, he's had to protect him and everything, you know. And he's got him back there and he's got one ready to protect himself. So the, the reason that he's, you know, now, now it's kind of like, like Bruce Lee says, when you, when failure is just, it's just a lesson learned. Now you know that, you know, sometimes when, 
you know, you fell, you learn, you know, it, it just makes it so you're, you can learn from those experiences and now you have that, that added strength, you know. So he's taking this beating and he has nine wands, but he has nine wands, you know, he has something and now he knows how to recognize the dangers when they come his way, those lessons learned. The, the word for this is strength. So now, now he knows what's written. Now he or she, you know, and in this case it's me, like, um, lessons learned. So like, like as far as like, well, aren't you gonna interpret them? You, th this is more like a spread where, you know, you do all of, these are all the different components of it, okay? And then we'll I'll, we'll st stop at this one, and then when this one is not turned over, but all the rest are, then you can kind of look at it, and you can kind of see what it's saying, you know? So so right now, you know, like it's starting to form. You can kind of see where it's going. Like right here, like like some of these, I'm not sure if it means that's something. Because the question was, what are characteristics of my friend, you know? But right here. I can see that I, I feel like this is me, you know, but I could be wrong. It could be that a good friend would also have learned lots of, because I've learned a lot of lessons about, about, um, you know, friends and stuff. So if, if you're reading someone else's cards, you, you, it's not just about the cards. It's about your intuition. It's about things you notice about their body language, things they say, ask them questions, you know. It's kind of like it's, you use everything you have and and things you notice about anything about them or anything like that, you know. So so um, in this case, that's what I'm doing for, for myself. Number five, Jabura. So we got the nine of wands. Nine or the yeah, I'm sorry, not the nine, the knight of wands. So the knight, you know, he's not yet He's not yet the king, he's the knight. And he's he's uh, he's on an adventure, he's young. Look, he, he got on a horse, his legs are too long for the horse, you know? And and he's got the, the three, three mountains behind him. You know, there's like these adventures all over the place to have. And he's, he's just, he's really quick to go on an adventure and, and just grab a horse and, and you know, maybe half, halfway dangerously and he's, he's gonna go off and, and on to his adventure. Now number six, Tiferet. We got the Magician card. The Magician card is one that's the, like the coolest card ever because see like in, in the deck you've got like, like here you see the wands, look there's a wand. Where's the wand, right there, see it? And then, then we saw pentacles, look there's, there's a pentacle. You know, this is a different deck. That's what the pentacle looks like in the herb. There's the cups and there's the swords, see? So the magician has all the magic weapons. That's why he's a magician. Because he's got all the magic weapons of of uh, of the deck, you know? So it's like all the tools to, to your magic, you know, to do magic. You know, okay? So, so it just means like your abilities, you know, is the word. So it's like, you know, you can make things happen. Okay, number number uh, seven, Netzach, which is feeling. So so like the, the upper polarities, you've got Kesed, which is mercy and strength. This side is the feminine side. Across the abyss, which is that, if the masculine side's on this side, the feminine side's here. But when you cross the abyss, it switches. Now this side's the feminine side and this side's the masculine side. So. So mercy, strength, this is the self, feeling, and then chad is thinking. You know, the masculine energy is more of a thinking thing, and the female energy is more of a feeling thing. So we're over in Netzach, the six of wands. Okay, look, he's got a message. See the message on his belt? He's got his wands, and he's, he's, gonna, he's uh, you know, it's like a, a person with a message. So the word for the word for this one is victory. So it's like temporary gains, the battle of words and strategies, you know, like a a pause in the struggle, you know, but you've got a message, you've got something, you know, something has been gained, some a victory has been gained with it, in this case a message. 
Okay, number or the thinking. So that's the feeling. See that? See how that could be a the thinking, but it's not. It's the feeling. Now chad, which is the thinking. The thinking is so. This is the upper polarity. They're the archetypes, and this is the self. And then below the self is the lower part polarity. Okay, so the chariot card. The chariot card is finding strength from within. You know. To, uh, to, to triumph, see how see how it's he's got this the plant and his the chariot's been being pulled by this plant from the, from the strength from within. Okay, and then here we've got Yesod, and that's oh, this is a trippy one. This is the five of pentacles. This this card's always a trippy one to get. I used to get it as a single parent for a long time. I used to get this card all the time. You know, and obviously that was me and that that was my son. So if you look at them, they're, they they could be inside that nice warm church, but they're outside in the cold in this uh, difficult situation walking by the church. So it means, so like misfortune, you know. The word for this is worry. And, um, you know, like, like, worrying and being like thrown back on yourself but but discovering your capabilities see how she's like deep in thought she's learning something from it is the positive thing you know that i mean that's what you do in that kind of a situation now number 10 malkut the seven of cups awesome okay the seven of cups see this person's dreaming and there's and there's seven cups see and each one has has some type of thing so basically it means like kind of like believing in your dreams you know even though everybody else thinks you're crazy i mean like a dragon people are like dragons aren't real you know and like you know what i mean it's like believing in the, in that that believing in dreams you know okay so now now let's just look at everything so I'm gonna think about this for a second. Okay, I got it, watch this, this is fun. Now's when it kind of comes together, okay. So number one, the pure form of the idea. So the, this is kind of like the goal. The goal is to find a, a friend that's, that's uh, you know, or friends, or, or whatever that, that's gonna be, that, that, that you feel at home and you feel like, you know, like successful in, in that desire. And so um, it's gonna take courage you know, and, and strength to do it, but you can do it. Remember, you're the master of your destiny. You make your destiny. Um, you've just used, so like one thing, like you kind of wonder, is this gonna, is this talk, you know, like with the question and spread like this, is it more about like me or more about them? This card turned out to be, this spread turned out to be a lot more about me than them. So it's kind of like be the friend you know, like it's it's something that that I'm gonna do. It's not gonna land on my lap, basically. Use use the lessons that I've learned, Angie. You know, use the lessons you've learned, and, and you've if you've got something. Um, so like the upper the upper polarity is you know a question of learning from your lessons, and and but not overthinking too much. You know, get, being a you know don't wait for the perfect moment. Get get out there and gallop around and. And uh, you know, and the you know the world is your oyster, but then this is the self, uh, Tiferet. So remember that you're the you can create you can do things. You're the master of your destiny, but you're a magician and you can manifest things. You can make things happen. And then the lower polarity, the the feeling and the thinking. You know, keep the feeling alive that you that you have something. See the message. You you know you have something. And um, the thinking, keep the thinking going that, that you know, you, you look within and that strength within, that's good, that's what you want in a friend. That's what they're going to want in you, you know, someone that has some kind of strength and they're not just a pushover. With all these lessons and all these things, it, your, my friend couldn't be, my, my, uh, my Venus is in Aries, you know, so it's so like, yeah, you got to. They, they gotta have a strength, you know, but I but I, I gotta keep my strength too within. 
you know, there's been, there's misfortune and I've lost my friends and family and transitioning and that, but I'm, I'm in thought and I'm preparing and, I, and I've got, in this case, that's me. And uh, just, uh, you know, believe, uh, believe in dreams. This one's the one that has to do, is kind of like the mutual moment, you know? Like the basic, the, my friend or friends or whatever would probably generally have all of this in common, you know? But the big, the big thing is, like this is 10, Malkut, manifested form. The big thing is, on, you know, that we, you know, we, it needs to be someone that believes in dreams the way I believe in dreams, you know? You know, like, do you believe in Bigfoot? Not someone that's a, pff, no, but someone that, that might believe in Bigfoot and that, you know, has dreams and, 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 and things, things like that. Okay, now... We can now that we've we've assessed all that. Now we can flip this over. Wow, this is taking forever. I knew it would. The page of swords. So this is see that they can move swiftly towards the goal. This is this one means so what next? So now what? You know. So we got the page of swords and the now what? See how see how this one is looking at this dillweed. You know, like <laughs> it sounds funny, but. But dill, see, dill is the corresponding plant. And see that they see their goal. Their goal is to come and chop this this plant down. They're going to come and get it. One one uh, thing says like someone like the, someone that's young points out it's the page. So it's someone that's young that um, they will move swiftly towards that. But that can be fake too. You know, like hey, look, I'm. You know, sometimes when people are go getters. It's, it's, you're not seeing their true colors, you know? So, that's why I got to apply all the other stuff. But what next? Look for someone that, that has goals and that's, that's moving swiftly towards it and be the friend that I want to be, you know? Also, kind of go towards my goal, you know? Don't, don't expect them to do the work, but expect them to do some of the work, you know? Not a deadbeat weakling.